Hi, my name is Malin. Recently, I realized that I've been stuck in overthinking, getting stuck in my head, ruminating, getting lost in kind of like these scenarios. And I realized that in reality, this has really tanked my kind of confidence because in my head, I can control everything and, you know, everything can kind of go as I want it to. And this ties into my past where it grew from, I would often escape by reading books and that was like one of the best ways to calm me down. It's something that I found a lot of solace in. And then I guess this just kind of evolved and formed into me kind of getting lost in these stories and then creating my own and thinking myself into these situations and what I would do and how I want to live and that sort of thing. And this just created this big dissonance and this big discrepancy between who I was and who I was in my head and who I was in reality when I actually saw other people. And this was like a form of escapism of me kind of coping with the world. And recently I realized that it really affected my confidence. And last night I had this rehearsal for the play. And when I was asked about my character, I felt really anxious and I was really fearful about talking about my character, even though I knew what I wanted to say, I thought about it quite a bit. I was confident in how I was going to deliver it and how I was going to act about it. But I felt really anxious when I was confronted about it with other people there and other people to respond and other people to kind of, you know, it's kind of like there was a standard there and that made me feel really anxious and kind of frustrated a little bit that I was so unconfident because when I recorded that video, when I did the walk and talk video, I was kind of also frustrated by that because I wasn't very confident. I wasn't holding the camera up straight. I wasn't speaking directly to the camera. I wasn't speaking confidently. And I was really anxious about seeing other people around there. And when I rewatched it, I saw the fear when one of the guys, when I saw somebody walking past and when I saw the car walking past, and I just saw like the fear kind of flash in my eyes. And I was just, it was all just going through my head as I was walking back from this play, play rehearsal. And I saw this guy working and this guy is someone who's younger than me. And he's one of those guys that hit puberty a bit younger and looks older than he, than he is. And he's a bit of a ladies man. And I just thought of this girl that worked there and it just kind of frustrated me because I was so unconfident. I wasn't, I have so much anxiety and fear and it just, really was frustrating me because I want to express myself as I am. I want to be authentic and I really struggle with that with other people. And it was just getting to me. And I realized that this was kind of like this emotional reaction that was kind of happening, which is like, fair enough. Of course, this is going to happen. Emotions are signals, but I was getting so worried and caught up about it. I was making such a big deal about it. And confidence is like hard earned. Confidence is hard earned. I needed to say that again so that I got it across. And this frustration just kind of built up and I realized that the problem wasn't that I had to be confident to say these things, is that it was that I felt like I had to be confident to say things. And I don't have to be confident to say things because that just creates this expectation where I have to, I can't be fearful. I can't feel these feelings. I just have to be confident. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Like, of course, these things are going to come up. Like, I kind of care about this. I care about the things that I care about. And I feel kind of anxious putting that across and seeing how other people would react to it because I can't control that. But in my head, all of these scenarios that I created in my head and get lost in, I can control them. And then also like this just leads to me overthinking even more and then I can't be present when I'm actually talking to people and I'm not responding and relating to them directly. And this just causes such like a big gap between me and other people, you know, like where, who I think I am in my head and then my experience of reality. And then if I get caught in that emotional reaction where I experience reality and then I have this hit to my ego and I kind of feel anxious and fearful, I can go back into that kind of coping mechanism to think my way through it, like in a scenario where I have control over it. So confidence is hard earned and these emotions were coming up for a reason. And once I can kind of accept it and become aware of it, 
then I can kind of try and dismantle the problem. Like, as I said, the problem wasn't that I was that I wasn't confident, it's that I felt like I had to be confident to talk about these things. And even through these videos, you know, I have these great ideas and then I have to flesh them out and then I have to talk about them and get them across in a way that kind of makes sense. And this is practicing my social skills. This is practicing like a bit more of my confidence and becoming more assured and more clear on my direction and on what I think and gaining clarity on my philosophy and becoming closely more related and linked to real life. And then once I kind of become aware of these problems and that it kind of can help me to relax a little bit and to just try and do my best because once I've kind of identified the problem then I can kind of explore it and then once I explore it I can do something to try and change it and work on it and then that gives me a little bit more autonomy and that gives me a bit more confidence and then it's kind of this cycle that can continue on. But as I've said before, the start is like always the hardest. You know, you have everything is kind of against you. You have all of these stacked up beliefs against you and all of these past thoughts and programmings that that I'm trying to change and I'm trying to rewire to, to become the person that I want to become to. To lose all of those things that are getting in my way for who Malin is as well. So thank you for watching if you did. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm laughing because I've taken like six or seven goes at this video and it just took way too long to create. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.